Hello, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a little bit of a wrap with me video. I have a bunch of stuff that needs to get wrapped up that I haven't done yet. So I figured we'd do it together a little bit today. Um, so, and then just kind of chit chat a little bit. I haven't really done a whole lot of Vlogmas videos, but I thought this would still be kind of a fun, fun video to do together since it is Christmas this month and we celebrate Christmas and it's coming up pretty soon. So Michael's wrapping paper this time has Avengers on it. Kaylee's has a bunch of different um, Disney characters on it. Maybe we'll start with Kaylee's first. I buy our wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree every year. Um, for the kids just because they have all kinds of fun designs on them and they're ones that the kids kind of like it's cheaper than buying wrapping paper anywhere else my kids don't really i mean they kind of care what's on it but we actually started doing that like years ago when my kids were little um we started doing the dollar tree paper because it had like the fun the fun um like designs on them and then but it wasn't expensive either we didn't have a lot of money at that point so we had to just kind of get whatever we could um i don't know about anybody else but i always try to wrap like one kid's presents first and then do the other kid's present um just so you're not like <clears throat> So you're not trying to like go back and forth between the paper it makes it a lot easier at least for me anyway to do um like one kid's presence and then do the other kid's presence so that way it's all done hope everyone is doing well and is ready for christmas i kind of went a little overboard this year um not even really meaning to um we i usually try to buy my kids stuff throughout the year and so we usually just like i already had half of it done and then i usually buy our kids their stuff over the course of the year so it makes it easier um a lot of stuff goes on sale and so first thing we're wrapping for Kaylee is actually something I found on sale on Amazon my friend sent it to me like the link or whatever so I thought she would think that was cool but yes um, we I try to get the kids Christmas presents over the course of the year so that way it's a lot easier for us instead of having to um, do it all at Christmas time. We are getting it throughout the year. So we also got our stimulus check and taxes together in March. Like a lot of other folks did. So I got the bulk of their Christmas done then. And then obviously too with Black Friday and stuff there was some other things that I found for them so it's a little hard to wrap Ooh. sometimes today we're just getting the last little bit wrapped up um I usually try to wrap up our stuff like starting in September or October so that way it's already done and we don't have to worry about it. Um, it's kind of why I like getting their Christmas shopping done early too so that way it's done and over with and it's not so stressful on me. Especially with how crazy things have been with COVID and whatnot, so it makes things a lot easier. So, I think that now that the big one 
this wrapped. And we'll do maybe let's see if this one is that. So next one we're going to wrap is one of the KiwiCo ones we got. I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago. Um, as I mentioned in that one, um, I try to get like useful stuff for the kids too for Christmas, like craft stuff and some board games and maybe like some other stuff like that. Um, just because we tend to get bored easily and at least with the like crafts and whatnot they'll get used more during the winter while it's cold here so we originally started it as a way to kind of like save some money um because we were just buying them a lot of uh, like chintzy little toys. They'd either break really easy or they'd sit at the bottom of the toy box until I got rid of them. And like I said before, not that there's necessarily anything wrong with those, but like uh, my kids just broke them really easily or they'd sit at the bottom of the box because the kids would be bored of them already. And so try to do some other stuff mixed in with their Christmas so that way it's not not as many toys because they have a lot of toys so next thing we're gonna wrap up bought these like a m couple of months ago a month or two ago um it's a real bug dig kit you either get oh there's three genuine bug specimens in it, so you get a fortune beetle, a scorpion, and a spiny spider. It says on the back. Again, we try to get the kids some stuff that's maybe a little bit more like sciencey and you know crafty and whatnot, so that way they aren't just getting toys that are sitting in the bottom of the toy box. Um, As I was saying, I usually try to get them things that are not just toys for their Christmas presents. Um, so that way they have stuff come January or Feb in February to kind of entertain themselves. So it's not just. So it's not just toys that are going to sit there forever and then six months later I have to get rid of them. Um, the kids really seem to enjoy being able to do sciencey stuff after Christmas or crafts or whatever so this makes things a lot easier on us and there's also less fighting. So. I feel like I kind of went overboard on Christmas this year, as I was kind of saying earlier. We usually buy throughout the year. Um, like I started in March this year when everyone got their taxes and their stimulus at the same time. Everything was kind of caught up for us. So we really didn't have like a lot of bills that needed to get caught up so we just did a lot of stuff for the kids 
This one, another National Geographic thing. Treasure mini dig kit. I found these actually at uh, Dollar General and they're five bucks a piece. So and it comes with three things in there again. So it's pretty nice when you find them not for not very much. So. But yes, we started in March. I started in March getting our Christmas together. Um, kind of went overboard on their Easter baskets too, so it was kind of whatever didn't fit in their Easter baskets also got put in their Christmas. So so I'm very excited to see their faces on Christmas morning. Be very surprised. I'm also really glad that it's on a Saturday this year. Usually it's during the week and my husband has to go to work the next day so at least this year we can kind of um, relax the day after too. Like it's not like we have to rush through Christmas and then you know we don't have you know I don't have to rush through Christmas and rush through dinner and then, you know, he has to go back to work the next day. He gets to, um, relax on Saturday and Sundays. I'm glad that it's on a Saturday this mm. year. So, I think the next thing I'm going to wrap of Kaylee's is this. It's Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, Help Wanted. They got Nintendo Switch Lights last year for their uh, Christmas present last year. And so um, this year I tried to get them like more games for their Switch. Um, it is kind of a, that one's kind of a scary one, but my kids don't mind scary stuff. But uh, yes. One of the things I tried to do with some of our stimulus money was, um, and Black Friday sales was to get the kids more, um, Switch games for their Switch. So that way they had more games to play. I think one of the things I got them too was like another game card case, and so that way they had room for them because they fell off fast, so... Kids will appreciate that too. I figure it's something that'll get used that isn't just gonna sit there. So we're down to three things for Kaylee and then we have Michael stuff. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is Kaylee's other Kiwi Co crate butterfly wings. We're getting down to the last little bits of this paper, but I have a bunch of it. I have two more rolls a piece of other stuff that I knew they would like. And I also try to save a lot of their, like, the end bits too, so that way if there's something that I need to wrap that doesn't really require much paper, I will wrap it with that. So... Next thing we're wrapping, I a Funko Pop, one of the Pokemon ones, Bulbasaur. I think these are going to be a thing now for like Christmas and Easter and stuff like that because um, my kids really are into Pokemon right now and they like Funko Pops so they can have their own little collection of them. Oh, the back is pretty cute too. I don't think I showed the back. That's pretty cute. They have a whole bunch of collections or a whole collection of different ones, so I'm pretty excited about that. That way the kids, as I said, can start collecting their own. Yeah, that's better. So 
so funny that Pokemon is starting to come back again. I remember when it came out. I was in like middle school when Pokemon first started, so it's kind of funny that my kids are now starting to like Pokemon too. I should cut this before I wrap it. Almost done with Kaylee's stuff, and then it'll, it'll be Michael's stuff after. I don't think we're going to need any extra wrapping paper for her stuff as of yet. Um, probably later. We have one more game coming for them. Um, it took super long to get here. It was like stuck in Texas for like a week or two, so it's out for delivery today, so. Thankfully though, I have other, other sheets they don't think, or that I think I'll be able to use. So, the last thing for Kaylee is a Lego set. Michael really likes the Nutcracker, or Nutcrackers in general, and obviously I wasn't going to get him one and not get her one. They both have been really enjoying these this year for various holidays. They got one in their Easter basket that I think was a bunny or something. Then they got Frankenstein for Halloween, and then they get this one wrapped up for Christmas. I think they also have one for their stocking as well. So, I don't- I like- spending the $10 on these because that's something that they can use and if they want to, you know, use the Legos for something else, they totally can. So, Keely's is officially done until the last game comes in today. And again, even though I don't have any more of this wrapping paper, I save these scraps from other paper. So that way, um, if something happens or I order something or I purchase something um, and I only need like a tiny scrap of paper, I have the tiny scrap of paper and I don't have to open a whole new roll to wrap up stuff. No, I think this was probably a lot for this one, but Probably could trim this up a little bit. So, oh wait, maybe Kiwi's isn't finished. Alright, well, I also have a scarf for her, and I'll see if I have maybe a scrap that I can use for her scarf. As I said, I had some leftover from one of her other things of wrapping paper, so I'm going to do this one instead. Just kind of make it easier on myself so I don't have to open up a whole new thing of wrapping paper. So, so, hot tip, make sure you save the pieces of wrapping paper because you might need it later. They also make great tags if you don't have tags or you forgot them. Ooh. Do that trick when I was growing up. She never had tags, but she always had scraps of paper. So she would turn it around and write who it was to and who it was from. So my kids get their own special paper, so they know who it is who. So now that Kaylee's is done, we are going to work on Michael's and get his done. I love this wrapping paper. It's like cartoon Avengers. Um, he's not like overly, overly crazy about superheroes. He does like the Black Panther the most. 
It looks like this one has it on there, but I thought it was still cute anyway. So Super excited for the kids' faces on Christmas. Be interested to know what you guys got your kids for Christmas, if you're celebrating, um, if you're doing anything special together. So. We're going to start with Michael's um, dig kit. Um, seems to be the biggest thing he has right now, so I'll just start that. Usually try to get them the same um, science kits and stuff, maybe different board games. Um, so that way we can kind of, I think I've mentioned this before, but it ends up making a like, homeschool project for the day and it's, you know, kind of entertaining for a little while. Um, it makes things a little easier when we, when I get two of the same things sometimes because we'll make it into like a homeschool thing so that we, you know, it's a project for the day and whatnot. So I'm going to cut this before I start. Super rainy here right now, which I figured was a good video for today. Um, it's very dark and cloudy and super rainy, so I figured today was a good day to get caught up on this. Hopefully, not getting any more Christmas presents other than the stuff today. So, I think stockings is going to be the next. Project. I think I'm just about done with those two this year, which that will also be another fun video coming up maybe next week or something when I know I'm finished. are super cute like they come out with really cute ones every year and I absolutely love them so I think the next thing we're gonna try to do is this Michael really likes Nerf guns so let's see if that really goes next Wrapping. I think it's probably one of my favorite parts of Christmas. Um, like, I don't know. I really, I've always loved wrapping. Even as like a teenager, I always used to help wrap up my sister's stuff. So, and it's become one of my favorite parts of Christmas as an adult. Sitting here wrapping up everybody's stuff. Is it one of your favorite things? Do you like wrapping? I know wrapping is like one of those things that either you absolutely love it or you hate it. So maybe let me know in down in the comments how you feel about it, if you like it or you don't like it. So I literally just noticed we have a little mole in here on here wrapped up. If you can see it right there. That's cute. I think that's another fun part about having kids too is like all the things that you liked when you were younger are like now starting to come back again or sharing that stuff with your kids. Alright. Wrapping paper again. So, 
I think we'll do this one next. Make an ass for a pair of Leathermans for Christmas. That was one of the things that he got. Does all kinds of cool stuff. My kids kind of ask for all kinds of different things, like they like having tools and whatnot for Christmas. So, so that is all wrapped up nicely. I love that wrapping paper. It's so super cute. So I think the next thing we do is maybe one of Michael's Kiwi Crate things. Again, I think these are probably made for like younger kids, but I think my kids will still like it. So. about wrapping is sometimes it takes a long time like especially if you just kind of like I like wrapping and I love doing it but sometimes it takes a while. Like especially if you have kids and you haven't done any for a while and so you're gonna sit there for an hour or two just kind of getting it finished. Time for Christmas. Ooh. Enjoy Christmas, but stay safe at the same time. Alright, so I think the next one is going to be the next Kiwi Co stuff. I figured this one would be kind of cool because he likes cars. So, and again, choose everything you need on the back. So that one is now done too. Um, we are officially getting to the end. There's only three more things of his to wrap up. So, um, oh, excuse me, four things. So I think we're going to use this one for his of this. Like I said, he really likes nutcrackers, so hopefully that'll be really exciting. Um, so I think we can probably get two out of this. So, getting the end of his wrapping paper too. And Haley's got used up as quickly. It's because I used something. I used it for something big of hers, too. So, Michael has a lot more wrapping paper left. to his of this. Again, that guy. Sometimes it's 
it's kind of hard to figure out which side to do things on if I have enough. I wonder if maybe this one would be better. It's a lot Sometimes it's guessing depending on what you should wrap. Or if something's gonna fit. Like maybe you should put another present in there. wrapping paper for the union or I can just leave it in the tube, leave it like wrapped up for next year. So that way it's not so not, that way it's not left out so the cat can get it. It's a big mess and then I have to throw it away. This one's the last one, so and we also get to use up the last little bit of the paper. So I don't know if I should maybe try to save some of it or just use all of it. I don't think we'll need that much, but it's gonna be kinda hard to kinda hard to really justify putting up you all do it this way. Where are my scissors? Uh oh. There they are. Maybe I won't cut this too soon. This is going to go this way. Maybe I'll cut it this way.
last thing for right now wrapped up. As always, I thank you for watching my videos and I hope you have a great day. I uh,